this video, I'm gonna be reviewing AE Juice, and I've been using AE Juice for a while now. I've been using the free extension inside Premiere Pro, which comes with a lot of packs that you can use for free directly inside the software. But in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the paid bundles. Now, you can get started for free, so to get started, you can go to their website and download the pack manager. Once you click download for free here, you can download and install it on your computer, and you'll gain access to the extension with all the free packs you can use. Now, if we hop over to Premiere Pro to access it, once you're done installing AE Juice, you can go up to Window Extensions, and then you'll see AE Juice Pack Manager. When you click on this, a window will open with all the different packs. Now, if you haven't purchased anything yet, you'll see the free starter packs. So it comes with voiceover AI, a lot of different packs. These are pretty cool, the 2000 plus free icons. So they have a lot of free assets you can use right away. So let's check out the starter pack here. To download one of the packs, you can click on the little cloud icon, and this will download it locally on your computer. Once it's downloaded, you can see that we have it here. You can see on the left-hand side, we have different folders for the different categories. So if you wanted shape elements, you can go to shape elements. You can see that they automatically play so you can preview what they look like right away. So let's say if we wanted to add one of these, what we can easily do is just double click on one of them and this will download it into your project. As you can see, it imported it directly into our project here. So when we click play, the video guy, you can see it's right here. We can then go into the properties panel and then move it around. We can change the color and different properties. So these animations and different elements are very highly customizable. One other thing I wanted to mention is say if you wanted to dock this panel, but you can't, you can change this in the settings. So if you go down to the sprocket icon at the bottom right, you can go to the usability tab and then uncheck open as standalone window, then click OK, and then close out the window and then reopen the extension. You'll now be able to click on this hamburger menu and then click and drag into windows here inside Premiere Pro to dock it. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the paid packs. First, let's go into the title section. Now there's a lot to get started with. And if you want to search, you can search at the search bar at the top left. So you can type in maybe titles. And this will only display title animations here. So we can click on the cloud icon to download this titles pack here. As you can see, we have a lot of different titles to choose from. Let's go to lower third. Let's add a lower third to my video here. Let's say if I want this one, I can easily just double click to import it into my project. So if we click play, I, in today's episode, I see, now we can change out the text inside the properties panel. And then one note about these titles, which is really nice, is that when you resize and replace the text, you can see that the lower third adjusts to the new length of text. So this is really cool. A lot of packs that you get online don't do this. So this is a benefit with AE Juice's title packs here. All right, so once we get in place, this is what we have here. We go to the beginning. You can see how this looks. John, the video guy. In today's episode, I said, now another nice feature with the titles is say if it's too long, you can always shorten it or extend it. So you can shorten it to make this lower third a lot shorter and it automatically transitions out to the new length of time. So I sit down with Gab. So you can see if you wanted this on and off right away, you can just make it really short and it'd be like this. Or you can make it as long as you need to. So you can really stretch this out if you need it up for a long period of time. So it's very easy to use, very highly customizable, probably one of the best packs I've come across so far. All right, so one of my favorite packs inside AE Juice is called the Digital Screen Constructor. If we go back to the home screen, let's search for Digital Screen Constructor. There's two versions if we click on one of them. This is really good for B-roll sequences. So if you're making a project where you want to simulate logging in or searching for something, this is a great pack to use. So for example, if you're doing headlines, you can easily just double click on this and this will import into your project. You can see right here it imported it. We can easily click on this and replace out the text. So you can see we just updated the text. You can adjust the font and all the different aspects of this title graphic here. If you didn't want the screen effect, you can disable it. You can change out all the colors. So if you wanted a different color palette, let's say if you wanted blue, you can choose blue. You have a lot of options to play with. Now those are just some of the title packs. Now let's take a look at how their transitions work inside Premiere Pro. So if we search for transitions, we can see that there's quite a few transition packs. I'm gonna click on one of them. And you can see how the transitions preview it in the right side here. You have a lot of different options to choose from. I'm gonna to go to the end of the sequence here and maybe transition from the end of my podcast to this title graphic here. So what you can do is move your playhead to the cut point. So just move it right around here, right in between the two clips. 
and then choose the transition that you want to use from the transitions pack on the left hand side here. Let's say I want to use this one. I can double click on it to import it inside Premiere Pro. You can see it automatically adds it to our timeline here. And what's really nice, it comes with a sound effect too. So if we click and play this back, we can see what we have. That's really cool. Now one of the other important aspects about the transitions is that they also work with vertical content as well. So you don't have to worry about trying to resize the transitions for vertical videos or square videos. They automatically adjust depending on the sequence setting. So let me show you this. If I go into a vertical sequence here and say if I want to transition from this cut to this cut here, and there's a lot of different layers and stuff. Once again, I just go to the cut point. I go back into AE Juice. And let's do a digital shake here. I like this one. I'm going to double click on this. You'll download it. If we click and play this back, you can see how it affects the entire canvas, even if it's a vertical layout here. So that's a really cool feature using AE Juice's packs, especially if you create vertical videos like this. Now, this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of packs to explore in AE Juice's pack manager, and I could go on and on. So I just recommend going in, experimenting for yourself. They are running a sale, so be sure to take full advantage of that using my links down in the video description. But let me know what you guys think of AE Juice in the comments section below. Feel free to leave your thoughts. But that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.